Kyo Kusanagi is the original fiery poster boy for the King of Fighters series, and uses his own specialized brand of the ancient Kusanagi style, handed down from generation to generation. Kyo excels in rushdown whilst fighting from mid to close range, and also packs some strong defensive tools when on the back foot. Kyo's ground normals are exemplary models of the classic KOF rock-paper-scissors dynamic. Uses jab to snuff out hops, sweep to beat quick anti-air pokes like jabs, and hops to go over sweeps for a full combo. In the mid-range, Kyo's far C has decent reach and can act as both a poke or punisher, made especially effective by how he can cancel it into specials. Meanwhile, Kyo's far D boasts good reach and can go over lows. If Kyo wants to muscle his way in, Aragami has an upper body guard point, though this does take some skill and experience to use effectively. When Kyo's in a disadvantaged state, he can use Oniaki to steal back his turn. This also doubles up as an amazing anti-air. Good use of Kyo's mid-range tools will make the opponents hesitant to fight back, and here he has multiple ways to open up their guard. Crouching B is a fast low poke, which forms the baseline of any character's offensive game plan, and Kyo's can lead to huge damage, with or without meter. EX Kototsuki Yo is a one frame command throw that can lead to some decent set play. Gofu Yo is a fast overhead that can be max cancelled for good damage. Naraku Otoshi is a jump in attack that has huge hit stun, meaning it can be used early during a hop and Kyo will still be able to stick a combo when he lands. Kyo can also naturally transition from mid-range poking to mix-ups through his Aragami Reka extensions, with Yanosabi being an overhead and Minotsuchi being a low. As good as Kyo is up close, he can struggle to close the gap, especially against strong zoners. Even his longest range special, EX Dokugami, has to be used in the mid-range for it to become a real threat. Red Kick can occasionally be used to close the gap, but it is unsafe unless blocked at tip range. Also, while his jump normals are great at pressure and opening opponents up, on the flip side, they often lack range. Kyo's best tool for aerial space control is his Jumping D, which has pretty decent horizontal reach, but can often miss against crouching or low-profile opponents. All in all, this means Kyo has very little presence from a distance and has to work his way in with honest fundamentals. Kyo's focus on fundamentals makes him a pretty good character to learn the game and establish good habits with, but his best combos do require some decent execution to pull off, and bringing out the most of his toolkit, especially the guard points, will take some time. Kyo can be positioned anywhere on a team, but since you don't need meter to dish out a lot of damage with him, we think he's best placed as a point or middle if you really want to make use of his Gofuyo overhead. If you're looking for a fundamentals focused character who excels at putting on the heat at mid to close range, then look no further than the scion of the flame, Kyo Kusanagi. Iori Yagami eternal rival of Kyo Kusanagi, uses his tainted purple flames and the ancient Yasakani style to rip opponents to shreds. Iori is one of the most versatile characters in KOF, effective from any range and with a tool for every occasion. But what he really excels at is opening opponents up at close range and snowballing rounds with his powerful wake-up game. From a distance, Iori can use his ground projectile, Yami Barai, the heavy version is very fast, making it quite difficult to get around. The light version, meanwhile, is slower, so it can be used to cover Iori's approach. While Iori isn't a zoner and the recovery on this isn't great, it's still an effective tool to force approaches. Combine this with Oniaki to anti-air jump-ins, and also reversal out of disadvantageous situations. In the mid-range, Iori's long legs give him access to strong aerial and grounded pokes. While his notorious far D is now slower than in previous games, it's still a respectable keepout and punishment tool, made especially effective with quick max cancels. Iori's far C, on the other hand, 
doesn't have quite as much range, but is very fast and confirmable into more damage, making it a workhorse normal to use after block strings and as a punisher. This is even with cancelable too, allowing you to feint it into Yamibarai to zone, or heavy Sumakushi to close the gap from a distance. Once Iori wins an exchange in the neutral and manages to close the distance with an advantage, he has plenty of tools to tear down the opponent's guard. Jump CD is Iori's primary tool to initiate offense. While slower than his other aerial normals, this gives enormous frame advantage on block and can be used to re-loop pressure. Do beware that this can be beaten by low-profile moves. Hop C, though, is fast and hits very low to the ground, covering Jump CD's weaknesses well. Iori's small and sharp jump arc also makes this quite hard to react to when properly mixed up with lows. Yuri Ori, better known as a Bataco, is Iori's trademark cross-up. This is fast and boasts a great hitbox, but does need to connect quite deep now to combo. Kuzukaze is a slow command throw that tosses the opponent behind Iori, allowing him to follow up with a ground combo, though this does scale heavily. Gofuin Shinigami is an overhead with decent reach that can surprise opponents when they're looking out for other options. And last but certainly not least is Crouching B, a quick low that shrinks Iori's hurt box, allowing it to go under poorly timed jump hits. As with all Crouching Bs, this is your main pathway to Iori's combo game. After sinking his claws into his prey, Iori can end combos with Aoi Bara, Kototsuki In, and Yao Tome for hard knockdowns that can lead to round stealing looping Okizeme. Iori is a great character to pick up KOF with. His toolkit covers every aspect of the game, and while he does require some practice to be effective with, his overall execution isn't too demanding. Iori's versatility allows him to be placed basically anywhere on a team, though we think he's perhaps best positioned as a mid, since Iori's damage potential jumps dramatically once he has a bit of meter on hand, and he also has a powerful and reliable 2-bar quick max staple. The downside to being a jack of all trades is that every move is designed with a weakness, so you'll need solid fundamentals, good decision making, and creativity to make those purple flames burn at their hottest. If you're looking for an aggressive all rounder who really epitomizes everything that KOF is about, then run riot with Iori Yagami. Chizuru Kagura, the elegant master of illusions, is a descendant of the Yata clan, tasked with sealing the serpent monster Orochi. She also acts as the de facto reluctant babysitter of the Sacred Treasures team by stopping Kyo and Iori from getting at each other's throats and keeping the trio united. Chizuru fights with a very soft, open-palmed fighting style that incorporates a lot of traditional Japanese dance moves. She uses her illusory mirror image techniques to confuse and disorientate opponents before sealing away their special moves to leave them helpless before she delivers the final blow. Chizuru controls the pace of the battle by summoning her mirror images to either strike or act as a decoy. Mixing these two techniques will allow you to burrow into the opponent's mind and make them hesitant to retaliate. The kick versions of Chomo no Ishin and heavy versions of Shinsoku no Norito allow it to close the gap in an instant. The alternate versions will make the mirror image attack instead. By pressing a button again, you can decide where either Chizuru or the mirror image is going to stop. This makes Chizuru a threat even from a distance, especially EX Shinsoku no Norito, which launches the opponent and allows you to follow up with Jokatsu Kang Kang for huge damage. Do be careful though, as Chizuru's mirror images can be attacked which will cause her to take damage. They are not your conventional projectiles. But you can use this against your opponents by stopping early and fainting to test your opponent and see how they'll react. Once you've conditioned the opponent to sit still with Chizuru's illusions, you can then start to pester them and start your offense with her impressive normals. Her sweep is fast and has good range. This can also be whiff cancelled for added mind games and safety. Far D is an incredible multi-purpose normal. It advances Chizuru a lot, 
is advantageous on block at tip range and will also snuff out hops at the same time. Far C, meanwhile, can cover all jumps, and Far B is special cancelable, allowing you to buffer into EX Shin Soku no Norito for huge damage potential from a quick poke. And even if this is blocked, you're still pretty safe. You can also occasionally use Tenjin no Kotaware after Shin Soku no Norito to beat the opponent's counterattack due to the invincible starter. This also acts as a solid anti air. If you have the meter to spare, be sure to end combos with Regi no Ishizue to seal away the opponent's ability to perform special moves, especially the max version, which seals away for a huge amount of time. This, of course, greatly reduces the opponent's options, in some matchups effectively crippling them, which Chizuru can then take advantage of by going in for mix ups without fear of retaliation. While Chizuru's ground game is very strong, her jump arc is quite floaty like a crane allowing her to be more easily anti-air, punished on landing, and overall just making her aerial offense rather weak. Thankfully, she has Tamayura no Shitsune and EX Chomo no Ishin to deal with projectile zoning pretty well. While the reward on these isn't especially great, at least you won't be taking any major risks by jumping in too often. While Chizuru can be placed in any position, she's best played as an anchor, as her quick max combo does really good damage, and it makes her poking game much more threatening. Also, having lots of meter is a must to take full advantage of her powerful EX moves. Chizuru is a very unconventional character. Keen observation skills are a must to being successful with her, and she has a high skill cap both in terms of strategy and execution, especially with combos that employ her stand attack, Sunrai no Fujin. So, if you're a lab monster looking for a graceful, complex, specialist character designed to get into your opponent's head, then Chizuru Kagura is the perfect dancing partner. Hey, thanks so much for watching, and a massive shout out to our patrons for supporting this channel. Are you okay? Because the next team we'll be covering is Fatal Fury.